Hey, what's good? It's your boy, Matthew Michael, and I am so happy to welcome you back to the 52 week trading challenge. This is week eight, and I'm going to let you know right now, I did not record at all during the week. I think I may have gotten like a screen recording, but I'm just going to uh, hop in my portfolio and show you what's been going on. But first, before we get into the video, if you're new here or this is your first one of these videos that you've watched, be sure to click on the playlist above right here. Start from the beginning. Uh, just so you can get a gist of what's really going on with this series and also if you're new here and haven't already please be sure to subscribe i would absolutely love to have you as part of the family and also while you're down there and even if you're not down there because you're already subscribed hey please be sure to smash the like button it really helps to grow the channel and i really appreciate it as well and one last thing y'all i just signed up for moo moo i just got my free stock i got a free share of neo if you're interested in signing up for moo moo Hey, check out my referral link down below in the description. It gives you a free stock when you deposit $100 or more. And these aren't cheap stocks like what Robinhood would give you. They are good stocks. It's like Neo, Lucid, stuff like that. Anywhere from one stock with a $100 deposit all the way up to five stocks with, I don't know how much you need to deposit, but yeah, all the way up to five stocks, depending on how much you have to deposit. So without further ado, uh, let's get to it. Before we get into the portfolio and take a look, uh, I just want to take a look at where we should be uh, by the end of this week, which is week eight, which would actually be the start of week nine. So uh, we should have started with like a buying power of $97. And as you see, week nine starts with the buying power of $107.18. Coming from last week, yo, we took a serious hit last week. So uh, we definitely have some ground to make up. But yeah, $107 was the goal for this week um, for our buying power. And I just wanna let you know right now, um, hope you had a happy Thanksgiving by the way, but uh, right now this past week was hectic for me. Hectic in a good way, like busy, um, doing a lot of fun things, but it was hectic. I really wasn't able to trade the way I would have liked. But um, yeah, without further ado, I'm looking at where we need to be this week. We're shooting for 107 and then next week we need to be at 117 so yeah just keep that in mind as we're going all right so here we are in webull and i'm actually going to hop over to my assets page and as you can see our cash balance is sitting at 81 dollars 39 so we are about 16 dollars behind where we should be but coming from where we were last week we definitely made some ground and for those of you interested in seeing what plays we made i am not going to keep you waiting any longer uh, let's go to our history all right, so um, yeah, here you have it. We have two contracts that we played this week. Both of them were Facebook, but the first contract uh, we bought into a Facebook call. It was a 357.5 uh, call for this past weekend. And yeah, we bought it for $45. All right, so yeah, we bought in there, we bought in for $45 and we sold out for $62 three dollars eighteen dollars profit right there um, definitely got the week off to a good start i believe that was on monday and yeah that was it for the day the next trade we actually got in on tuesday we bought in for 59 dollars and we quickly sold out and took profit at 77 dollars. so right there again we made another 18 dollars profit bringing us to a total of 36 dollars profit on the week so again this week we should have ended with $107 buying power. Right now we have $81 buying power and 39 cents. So uh, we actually need about $26 more to get to where we should be. And then actually to be where we should be next week, we need $36 more. So if we're able to replicate exactly what I did this week, we will be back on track and not behind anymore so yeah this past week we did face a lot of challenges i had like no time to really trade monday i drove to Vail. tuesday i went skiing uh, wednesday drove back and all throughout this time i had companies so the whole time i was the one driving i was the one responsible for everything didn't really have time to just kick back chill and all that yeah i had friends in from out of town so yeah that really affected my trade this week. But again, this 10% a week, um, had I been on schedule or had I not fallen behind last week, 
um, it would have been easy for me to do because I was able to make those trades early in the morning within the first few moments of market open. So that is one thing I love about only shooting for 10% each week. And one other obstacle I face, for those of you that don't know, I actually work retail and this past Friday was Black Friday and yo, I didn't even look at the markets that day. I had to be in at work at 4.30 and I did not leave work until 2.30 that day. And for those of you not aware of my time zone, the market closes at 2 p.m. where I'm at. I was working the whole trading day and you know, the stock market did not even cross my mind. So yeah, that's kind of uh, a shortened version of what happened to me this past week in the stock market and just my life and everything. Definitely had a good time, but um, it was kind of hectic when it came to trading. So. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, learned anything, saw any sort of success this past week in the stock market, or if you were humbled in some sort of way and you learned a lesson, yo, let me know down below in the comments. Also, hey, be sure to smash the like button. It really helps to support the channel. And last, but certainly not least, thank you so much for watching and peace.